Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Three logicians tell a warden they have wrongly been imprisoned. The warden suspects they are innocent, but wants to check they actually are logicians capable of perfect reasoning. The warden devises a game. He lines up the prisoners in order 1, 2, and 3, and he has them facing a brick wall. Prisoner 1 can see prisoners 2 and 3, prisoner 2 can see prisoner 3, and prisoner 3 is only facing the brick wall. The warden has three red hats and two blue hats. A hat will be placed on each prisoner's head, randomly chosen. The warden tells all of them, From the three red and blue hats, I have placed a hat on each of your heads. Obviously, you can see the hats that are in front of you, but you can't see the color of your own hat. If any one of you can correctly solve for your hat color, I will let all of you free. Otherwise, you will all stay as my prisoners. The warden then asks each of them in turn. The warden asks, Prisoner 1, do you know your hat color? Prisoner 1 replies, I don't know. The warden then asks Prisoner 2, do you know your hat color? The Prisoner 2 replies, I don't know. Finally, the warden asks Prisoner 3, do you know your hat color? Prisoner 3 replies, I know. So the question is, what was Prisoner 3's hat color and how did he know? These logic puzzles always have a sense of impossibility to them. How could hearing I don't know from prisoners 1 and 2 lead to prisoner 3 knowing his hat color? The key is that the setup of the problem and each prisoner's response is actually providing information to prisoner 3. So let's see how this works out step by step. We will get started by focusing on the different ways the hats could be placed on the three prisoners' heads. We have three red hats and two blue hats. But for a moment, let's just ignore that restriction and say we have an unlimited amount of red and blue hats. Each prisoner can have either a red or blue hat, which is one of two choices, and there are three prisoners. So there will be two times two times two, which equals eight possibilities. One possibility will be three red hats. Another possibility will be two red hats and one blue hat. The blue hat can be placed on three different prisoners. Could be placed on prisoner three, or prisoner two, or prisoner one. We could also have two blue hats and one red hat. The red hat can also be placed on three different prisoners, so it could be prisoner three, prisoner two, or prisoner one. We could also have all three blue hats. So these are the only ways we can place red and blue hats on the three prisoners. Now in this puzzle, we know the three hats are selected from two blue hats and three red hats. So it would not be possible to have three blue hats on the three prisoners' heads. We can exclude this possibility. But the other seven possibilities are possible ways that we could pick three hats from three red hats and two blue hats. So now let's start reasoning with prisoner one. Let's consider one of the cases. Imagine we are in the case of red, blue, blue. So that's a red hat on prisoner one and blue hats on prisoners two and three. So prisoner one sees a blue hat on prisoner two and a blue hat on prisoner three. Is there anything prisoner one could conclude from that? Well, prisoner one can consider all seven of these possibilities and look for cases where there is a blue hat on prisoner two and a blue hat on prisoner three. Prisoner one will look through all of the possibilities and see there's only one case where prisoner one would be seeing two blue hats. So if it were the case that the hats were red, blue, blue, prisoner one would be able to identify the case and say that his hat must be red. He would reply, I know. But as it is, we know prisoner one replied, I don't know. So we can exclude this possibility. It's not possible that the hats placed were red, blue, blue. So there are only six cases to consider. Now let's think about prisoner two. 
imagine that Prisoner 3 had a blue hat. Prisoner 2 would see the blue hat and consider the six possible cases and see which cases have a blue hat. There will only be two possible cases. It will be red, red, blue, or blue, red, blue. But in both of these cases, Prisoner 2 is wearing a red hat. If Prisoner 3 were wearing a blue hat and Prisoner 1 had said, I don't know, Prisoner 2 would have been able to correctly reason that I am wearing a red hat and I know my hat color. But we know that Prisoner 2 replied, I don't know. So these two cases are also not possible. So this finally brings us to Prisoner 3. Prisoner 3 has heard, I don't know, I don't know, and knows there are only four possible cases remaining. Now in each of these cases, there must be a red hat on the third prisoner. So Prisoner 3 will reply, I know, and my hat color is red. After Prisoner 3 has explained this, the warden says, You have proven to me that you three are logicians, and I will honor our deal. You are all set free. And logic rules the day. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.